Hey there, today on Ancestral Evolution, I'm going to teach you how to render your own tallow from fat. Here I've got some fat from around the kidney. And this is beef fat, um, and the fat around the kidney is called leaf fat. This is the highest quality fat on the animal. And I've got about six pounds here, so quite a bit. First we pulled the fat off from around the kidney, and now we're going to cut it into about one inch cubes. So we've got our slow cooker filled up with fat that we've cut up in about one inch cubes. We're going to turn it on high and put the lid on. And we're going to just kind of stir it occasionally here um, until it's all done and the fat is all rendered. Now this method works for any type of fat. So you can use it to render tallow, you can use it to render lard. Um, from cows, lambs, pigs, pretty much any kind of any kind of fat you can render this way. I prefer to use the slow cooker for this process because you don't have to babysit as much as having it in the stove or in the oven. You can just let it go, stir it every once in a while, and it's good to go. So we'll check on it a little bit. So we're about five hours in now and it's bubbling like crazy. But you can see a lot of tallow has all already rendered. We're gonna keep cooking. All right, so we've cooked our tallow now for six hours and it's pretty much fully rendered. So now we're gonna strain it and put it in our jars. One important piece of equipment we have for this is a metal funnel. You wanna make sure that it's metal and not plastic because you're pouring hot oil through it and you don't want to leach anything out of the plastic. So we got a uh, metal funnel and it has a nice strainer in it too. I'm just going to set that in my jar and I'm also going to put just a clean old napkin on top and I'm going to use this as a strainer. You can also use cheesecloth but I find that uh, an, an actual piece of, of woven material works a little bit better and catches more of the um, of the cracklings. So you can see we have a jar of rendered tallow here. It's still pretty hot, so we're going to let it cool down at room temperature and then we're going to put it in the freezer for storage. Just going to put the lid on and there you go. We're going to continue with more jars until we're done. 